came to fight, and he definitely does. Texas has been uh, idle with, as we mentioned, a, a busted uh, arm, a broken bone near his wrist as a result of trying to come to an aid in a fight that was not officially scheduled. It occurred in a bar in Philadelphia. And as a result of that combat, uh, this fight canceled, or postponed rather, for quite some time and finally put together now. Well, the forearm doesn't have much, you know, test uh, against a tire iron. <laughs> it's a little stiff. A little bit stiffer than the old forearm. And that's Georgie Benton back uh, up in the ring talking with Tex Cop. Again, giving them some last-minute pointers on keeping his glove up. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's scheduled for 10 rounds, and it's in the heavyweight division. And by the way, fans, this is the first of new monthly shows coming to you from Resorts International Hotel Casino here in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The judges for this scheduled 10-round heavyweight bout, John Stewart and William Castro. The timekeeper of the bell is Roy Johnson, counting for the knockdown seconds alternate referee, Joe O'Neill. In the ring at this time, the man in charge of the scheduled 10-round heavyweight bout, referee Larry Hazard. And now, boxing fans, introducing the principals. First, in the red corner, wearing the gold trunks with the black trim, he is weighing in at even 240 pounds. This young man is a native of Bridge City, Texas, and now residing in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Boxing fans, here is Randall Tex Cobb. Cobb. And his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the white trim. He is tipping the scales at 205 and one quarter pounds. This gentleman hails from Salt Lake City, Utah. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a warm welcome for Jeff Shelberg. Shelberg. Shelberg, a former grave digger who has abandoned that profession for the moment to devote full time to boxing. We mentioned he trained in Lookout Mountain, Colorado, 9,000 feet above sea level, taking on the menacing scowl now of Randall Tex Cobb. Like Randy had said earlier, what's happening, you got to get out there and you got to lie to yourself. This guy ain't going to beat you, you're going to beat up on him. And really, it's not lying to yourself. What you do is you got to get yourself psyched up to where you're better than the other guy in your mind. You know, regardless of what happens in the ring, you know that you're going to do better than him out there. All right, action promised right here. Two heavyweights who want to meet somewhere in the center of the ring and just have a go at it. Jeff Shelberg, he'll be in the black. Randall Tex Cobb in the gold trunks. Keep in mind that Jeff Shelberg has never been floored in his professional career. And he's in against one of the real hard bangers in the heavyweight division. Cobb is a stalker, nothing fancy. He's getting off that jab. <coughs> He's going with that jab to the body. I'm looking for a one-two, the jab downstairs, and that right hand to come whistling over the top. Jeff Shelberg, you saw a sampling of his right hand. It's an overhand right. That's his favorite punch. You'll see him toss that a lot. He just landed a pretty good left on the way in a moment ago. 240 pounds is Tex Cobb. He has fought at that weight a number of times before. This is not unusual or not a, to be attributed to his layoff. And he just landed a nice right hand on the butt. He got hit with two two hooks. He's dropping his right hand a little bit. And Shelberg looks like he's landing a fairly solid hook. Cobb has got to watch it. He's got to keep that right up. He's got to block that hook better. I can still visualize Tex Cobb taking a right hand from Ernie Shavers, who probably had the hardest right hand in maybe boxing history, some people say. And Tex rattled back from that. Randy, Randy's 
putting his punches together pretty good out there. He's bringing that left up to the gut, coming over the top with the hook. These fighters right now, you know, I should mention, Jim, they're using eight ounce gloves. Now, on my fist, an eight ounce glove is like just a quarter inch all around my fist. And both these guys got big hands too. Left hand by Cobb after taking a good right hand. Shelberg did not back up, he stood right in there. Boy, they're throwing some bombs here in round one. This goes the distance, Wayne. We're going to have one dandy of a bout. Well, both these guys got chins like iron, it seems. Both of them can hit. I think it's just a matter of, you know, who's going to land a series of good, solid punches, maybe stun the guy, hurt him, and, and be able to finish him off. Randy's got to watch. He's going down. His head is against Shelberg. You know, the, Shelberg is a little bit shorter than him. He's got to watch when he's putting that head down that he doesn't get cut. Boy, I'll tell you, at that end of round one here, Randall Tech Cobb landed about three straight right hands, and Jeff Shelberg didn't back up a step. He put together, you know, some good combinations. What he should have done, he was a little bit close, so he wasn't getting all of his punches. He should have had it like a half a step back, got a little more leverage, and then let that right hand go. But down. as close as they were, it, it's hard with, with two guys who are, who are like, you know, runaway bulls hitting together. But if he should learn a half a step back, here you see on the replay an uppercut, step back, right hand, blocking with his right hand. There, good right hand. But again, Shelberg, it didn't seem to phase him. He's got a good chin. <laughs> Wasn't even stunned. He's just as fresh as he was starting. And there were some good right hands, too. So it just goes the same. Like I said earlier, like everybody's been saying, there's two strong chins out there. Okay, round number two. Tex Cobb usually takes a lot more punishment than he took in that first round. His biggest problem in his career has been defense, but uh, he threw enough leather in the first round to keep Shelberg away from him. Well, there's an old attache in boxing, Jim. The best defense is a good offense. If, if Cobb can keep throwing those punches, as long as he's landing, as long as it's successful for them, you know, he doesn't have to worry about his defense too much. Shelberg landed a right hand there, glazed off the top of the head of Cobb. Shelberg's very low center of gravity explains his ability to stay on his feet. Very compact guy at 205 pounds. But he's giving away 35 pounds to Tex Cobb, and that's going to take its toll when these guys start leaning on one another, and it's happening right now. That's it. You know, Tex being bigger is leaning down on Shelberg. Shelberg is using energy just to keep himself up from being pushed off balance. And he sneaks a right hand, partially blocked, but it gets in. Round number two, a couple of slugging heavyweights. Stay right here if you want to see some boxing action at its best. There's another right hand by Shelberg. I'm Jim Barniak along with Wayne Bobbick. A minute to go here in the second round. Shelberg right now just hanging in close and flurrying a bit. Experience-wise, both these guys are fairly confident. Uh, Randall Tex Cobb with a record of 19-2, 17 KOs. Left, right, an overhand right by Cobb just missed. He had a wide open Jeff Shelberg in front of him. Didn't gauge the punch properly. Jeff Shelberg's record being 22-4 with 19 KOs. So 
pretty much the same kind of record. Right hand by Shelberg again. Cobb doesn't back up an inch either. Right in front of it. I had talked to Tex earlier. He said he was going to use his jab to, to offset Shelberg's right hand, trying to keep him off balance, keep him from getting set on using it. Shelberg offering a wide open midsection here, too. There's the bell ending round two as the action continues. We're going to get a chance to meet some of the corner men of these respective fighters. And here we have a look. Randall Tex Cobb. Looks mean, doesn't he, Jim? Boy, I'll say. Big bad boy. George Benton on the left and the familiar Eddie Aliano on the right. I say familiar because every time I watch a fight now on TV, he's up there in the corner, one of the uh, finest cut men in the business. And here's Jeff Shelberg. He doesn't exactly look like a nice guy. <laughs> Fellow on his left, Shane Shelberg, brother, and Angelo Curley, who's been established in boxing in the Midwest, particularly in the amateur level for many, many years. The far west, I guess I should say. Angelo Curley there, putting the mouthpiece in, and Tex Cobb getting ready here for round number three. Angelo Curley worked with one of the real good middleweights of the 50s in uh, Gene Fulmer. All right, we're in round number three here at Resorts International in Atlantic City. There's been some punches thrown uh, quite heavy, but neither fighter showing any scars or cuts or anything. Shelberg just offering that midsection. What he's trying to do is, is get Cobb frustrated, so when he's going for those punches, he's going to make a mistake and try to land that right hand. He's also giving away lots of points. Those babies count. Almost like a guy, a trainer, when he hands the medicine ball to. Jim, I don't think he came in here to win the decision. He figured if he's going to win, it's going to take a knockout. He's fighting a guy who's bigger than him. You know, he's got a good chin. You know, got reach on him. If he's going to get him, it's going to be with that right hand. There's a right hand that lands. Caused Tex Cobb to blink anyway. That wasn't a solid right hand. That was mostly arm. He just sort of snapped it in there. He didn't put a lot of weight behind that. Shelberg moving a little bit. Now he stops. Hardly moved at all in round number two. This is the third round. Partially blocked. Shelberg moving around a little bit more now. <laughs> A good move by Randall Cobb, getting that left hand out there to block the right hand. Good right hand by Shelberg in there in the exchange of punches. If, if I know Georgie Benton, he's going to be telling Randall Cobb next to, after he uses that jab to come off with a hook because he jabs Shelberg and Shelberg's right side of his face is wide open for the hook. Right above us, Tex Cobb lands a left. His best left of the fight. This is like you hit me a couple and I'll hit you a couple. An endurance test for sure. The final seconds in round three. And there we go. A final jab and another exciting round for sure. Three of them now. Let's take a look at an upcoming sports feature or a pair of sports features coming your way on prison. Round number four. We're getting set for round four here. Jeff Shelberg and Tex Cobb. Jeff Shelberg boxed 94 rounds out at uh, Lookout Mountain, Colorado, getting ready for this, including 30 rounds with a guy named Leroy Jones, a pretty tough cookie, formerly in the heavyweight division. That he 
Garcia is a big fellow. He's got to be, what, about 6'7", six, 6'8", six, somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, two and a half. Well, Tex Cobb's in there at 240 tonight. Right hand, a kind of a glancing right hand by Shelberg. The crowd got excited, but did not land cleanly. He, he did what was called a wing in that right hand, but in the process, he turns his body. His body's with it. And he followed through. He's off balance against a boxer. The boxer would have caught him off balance with his back half turned and would land three or four punches before he got straightened out. Shelberg absorbing punishment again. Very content to let Tex Cobb hammer away at him. Seizing an opening. I noticed the big difference in the way both these guys punch it. Randy throws his punches straight from the shoulder, jarring in there, and Jeff wings them out. In Shelberg's corner, Angelo Curley told Shelberg to use the right hand and double up on that hook. As of yet, we haven't seen it. Good uppercut by Randy. Good punches. Number four, Randall Tex Cobb, Jeff Shelberg. I'll tell you, Tex Cobb, this is a tune-up for a heavyweight title fight against Mike Weaver. He's picked himself a tough guy to tune with. Well, he's had a long layoff. He's had very little sparring in the gym except for the past six weeks or so. And he couldn't pick a better opponent to get ready for Weaver. There's the bell, and let's go to a look at upcoming programming on Christmas. We'll be <laughs> Jeff Shelberg, you see, getting attended to on the corner right above us. Angelo Curley administering to him. Shelberg lost his last fight August 27th, 1981. Lost the decision to a Leroy Caldwell in Las Vegas. Prior to that, he had a string of knockouts going. And he lost a fight also in 1980 to Philadelphia's Marvin Stinson. Had Stinson down and in trouble a lot early, but ran out of steam and was outboxed by the clever Stinson. And we mentioned that he has a couple of losses. A right hand right there scores by Shelberg. They make them tough in Utah, too. That they do, but all that punching by Cobb, they're swelling around both eyes of Shelberg. It's not to the point where it's going to affect his vision or anything, but with continued punches and jabs, there's a good chance it might. Cobbett has to be delighted with a fighter of this style. He's spent most of his recent fights chasing after opponents and being very frustrated. He's getting what he wants here. He's getting a very good workout because Shelberg is throwing punches. He, he moves enough to make Tex, you know, worry about him just standing still and stuff. He's got to go after him. He lets go with that right hand. So Tex has got to be on his toes out there. Round number five. And we would have to 
say that uh, Texcom has built up somewhat of a lead. He has thrown more punches, and Jeff Gelberg has wanted to take more punches, hoping to get an opening. Right now, Jeff Shelberg is in a little bit of pain because he's been getting hit with some hard punches. Like good that. right hand. Good right hand. Good uppercut. Randy is mixing his punches up very well when he's got him on the rope. All right, this is the uh, best series of the fight for Cobb. These punches are landing and with authority. Shelberg does not want to take these on purpose. Uppercuts, overhand rights. The uppercuts all getting in cleanly. Again, you see Tex slowing down. He's thrown a lot of hard punches. And this is only halfway in the fight. The midsection wide open. Cobb can have that anytime he wants. But he's electing now to go with jabs and uppercuts. Shelberg is bleeding from the nose. And it, I, I think the mouth, or he might have a cut underneath on his lower lip. I'm not sure. This is the fifth round, and it's all Tex Cobb right now. Shelberg is talking to Cobb, too. Yeah, like, how about leaving me alone? That's it. How do you like that? Like a guy walking home from a day at the office, Shelberg is, as he heads for his corner. Round number five, we're going to stay right here, and... Look at this action. Again, Shelberg laying back on the ropes. Cobb coming through. Now, if Shelberg would throw some punches, Randy's got his hands way down. He's wide open, but Shelberg is not throwing anything. There he lets go with the jab. I think basically just to know the, let the referee know that he's just faking here, that he is not hurt. Well, Good if he's not hurt, hook. he may never get hurt. Like, like we mentioned earlier, he's never been down. He's got a strong chin, and it proves it because he's getting, getting hit with some very hard punches in there. Round number six. And now we're going back live for round number six. The judges will have no trouble scoring round number five. think that Shelby threw more than five or six punches in round five. Cobb has his opponent now pinned to the ropes, not letting him get away. You see him holding on with one hand, looking for an opening with that right. I think part of the reason, too, is in absorbing all that punishment, Come on, Shelberg Come on, is, is a little weakened, a little bit tired. He's taking a breather. <laughs> Larry Hazard, the official. Wanting him to get off the ropes, wanting Shelberg to start fighting, not just being a passive opponent. It's been a rather easy night so far for Hazard. These two guys could fight without an official, I think. Break! Step back! Step back! When Shelberg gets ready to throw his right hand, he sets himself, he plants his right foot back a little bit and wings that right. And a lot of times I've seen Randy being able to get inside of the punch. He, he comes forward with his head, which he has to watch so they don't bump heads. But he does block it effectively. And you see him, again, throwing all kinds of combinations on Shelberg. And Shelberg is virtually nothing as an offense. There was a jab left hook by Randy, which I was looking for. He hooked off the jab. Cameras practically put you in the position of Jeff Shelberg. You see exactly what he's looking at. And it's Rather frightening, isn't it? You know, the funniest question that I had asked me as a fighter by a sports writer was, do the punches hurt? <laughs> now, don't be making fun of sports writers. Just because you're next. 
Tex Cobb working on Jeff Shelberg right in front of us here. Come on out of there. Come on fight. Referee Hazard telling Shelberg to come on out and fight. <laughs> this is the sixth round, and most of the rounds have been identical to this one. Cobb a very strong fifth round, but he pretty much controlled the action. Landed much the better of the punches and much more punches than has Jeff Shelberg. Larry Hazard talking with Shelberg as you see as Shelberg's going back in the corner. Ask him how he's doing. He just, he just told Angelo Curley one more round like that, he's going to stop the fight. He's being a little non competitive now. Make him throw some punches. Yeah, he will. There's a quote from Look at that. Russell Pelt. Mr. Pelt. Listen, forget about it. You never move your own Mr. Pelt made that quote, I think, a little different. B is that Tex Cobb is an offensive man. Come on. He puts together an offense. He goes out and attacks. Shelberg very probably would be the same against a different opponent. But right now, he's got his hands full. Round number seven. Well, we go to round seven with Jeff Shelberg carrying a warning out with him. Referee Larry Hazard saying, mix it up, get out there. It's easy for Larry Hazard to say. Shelberg has a small mouse under his left eye. If he's going to do anything, he's going to have to start moving forward. He's going to have to start letting go with those punches. That right hand landed. Fortunately for Shelberg, that hook by Cobb didn't. Tex Cobb, though, as we pointed out, can take the best punches in the division. He has been hit by some of the best. Ernie Shavers hit him with a couple of right hands, and Shavers is one of the hardest punchers there is. The midsection is usual, wide open. Again, Shelberg back on the rope, talking to Cobb. against the rope, banging away. Again, no offense from Shelberg. I don't know if you think you got to when we get through. <laughs> I don't know if the audio picked that up, but Randy Cobb just said to Shelberg, let's go out and have a beer after this is done. <laughs> I'm sure more than one. as promised and as warned if Jeff Shelberg was not going to put up a, a, more of a battle than that he was going to stop the fight and he did after that looping hard right hand and here's Tex Cobb talking with Shelberg a mutual admiration has built up here Muhammad Ali did the Thank same God. thing. All I can say is he was going to open up the last three rounds. And, uh, he was going to open up the last three rounds. Three rounds. Three Tex Cobb the winner in what was a tune-up for his upcoming we have one more about ladies and Mike gentlemen. Weaver. One more about Will follow. Well, he got plenty of work, and that's what he was looking for. It wasn't even hurt. I know. He's got himself a very, very good workout here. Gave him three rounds to fight. He didn't want to. Didn't get hurt, so it was a good fight for him. That stretches Texas record now to 20 and 2, and that was KO number 18 in those 20 wins. TKO in this case. Shelberg telling the referee he wasn't even hurt. There you see 
left hook under missing. Cobb sets back, gets himself set, comes with a jab to the body. Moving, waiting, looking for an opening, comes underneath with the body punches. Then he brings a jab up, that solid jab. Again, a lot like Alex Ramos, that good hard jab. And there's Larry Hazard stepping in and stopping the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Larry Hazard stops this bout at two minutes and 17 seconds of the seventh round. And a winner by a TKO, Randall Tex Cobb. Cobb. going at it with his new friend, Jeff Shelberg here. Looks like he's uh, giving a little bit of a boxing lesson. Hey, big fella, you uh, try this, try that, and you're going to be all right. What a character.